uh, we're talking about Flexbox. When you're ready to start working with Flexbox, what's like the one reference you, you bring up? You know, it's like, oh, where's the reference I want to look at to show me all the properties of the containers and the items? What is that? Okay, CSS tricks what? Flexbox. There we go. And so here's the Flexbox deal. <laughs> Let's do a two-minute review. And we have properties for the container, and we have properties for the items. And so the properties for the container are display, sets a container as a flex container. You could also do inline flex. We didn't work with that at all. Then we have flex direction, which sets the direction of the main axes. And uh, we have flex wrap, and the default's no wrap. And then we have flex flow, which is shorthand for direction and wrap. And remember, we remember flex flow shorthand for direction and wrap in that order because D comes for W, right? And justify content moves things along the main axes. So when the main axis is a row, then justify content will move things left and right. When the main axis is a column, justify content moves things up and down, interestingly. All you have is a picture of if the main axis is a row, right? And then we have a line, and a line moves things on the cross axis. So we have aligned items and aligned content and aligned self. It's all going to move stuff on the cross axis. Align items will move each item along the cross axes. <laughs> so you can see here each item got moved to the start, or each item got moved to the end, or each item got stretched. Align content is all of the items, so that kind of took the space out of the lines, right? When we use the line content, that was kind of the way I picture it. I like move all the content to the top, move all the content to the bottom. Interestingly, align items. Uh, it shows you the cross axes being vertical, and the line content shows you the cross axes being, if it goes to flex start, that's also vertical, and flex end is the bottom, that's also vertical. Okay, never mind. Scratch that interesting comment. And then align self is for an item. So we could do basically align something on the cross axes for one individual item. We also have baseline in there, which lets you line up the base of text. And we also have uh, order, so we can change the order of individual items. And then we have flex grow, flex shrink, and flex basis. And so grow is how much does something grow, right? <coughs> shrink is how much does something shrink, an individual item shrink, or, you know. And uh, basis is what is its starting size. So we have flex, which lets you set in this order, it's shorthand for flex grow, flex shrink, and flex basis. I don't have a good mnemonic device for remembering that order, but shorthand for grow, shrink, and basis. So that takes a little bit of time to work with uh, and, and figure out how that all works together. But we looked at all of the properties for the items, correct? We got through all those. We were pretty wiped out, but just like we stayed 10 minutes late and we got through all the item properties. That's where we left off, right? And then I gave you some homework to basically create eight pages, and each one of those pages should demonstrate, uh, just create a different layout changing container properties. So basically work with container properties and, and create different layouts just changing container properties. And then six pages, and uh, each of these six pages should demonstrate one of the properties for an item. And so th those are the solutions for uh, the homework. Is that where we left off? That's my memory of where we left off. That's where we left off, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. I, 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 you know, I just want to know if it's all right if I add in something that um, I was doing a little bit of research and I found a video on YouTube uh, that helps it kind of like give another visual. Yeah. Um, it was uh, Dev Tips CSS Lex Box. And that kind of helped me out a little bit. Dev tip CSS flex box. CSS flex box essentials. Seventy-four thousand views. That's cool. Practical examples. Awesome. This one. You did this one. Yeah. Nice. I'll check those out. I'm gonna bookmark those. You liked them? Yeah, it, I, it was a half hour, but it, you know, you did uh, kind of go through most, if not all of them, that you had most So nice just to hear a different perspective on it. And, you know, you, you, or just visual, actually that's what it was, it was all about that visual. Um, cool.
All right, thanks for sharing that. You guys uh, want, you ready for new material or you want more flex box? You want to go through those solutions? How many people want to go through the solutions? How many people want new material? Okay, about 50-50. Um, we have more Flexbox coming down, so let's go into the new material, and then if we still have need more Flexbox sort of like playing with it, we'll come back and look at the solutions. But you have all those solutions there for you to look at. So let's talk about uh, media queries, and uh, I think I'll start this as its own video. So I don't know what that video was. What did we talk about last five minutes? We did a little Flexbox review.